Hey everybody, welcome to another video. In this video, I want to be talking about the Rust Edit extension. This is an extension that you will need to install if you want to do certain things in your custom map. I'm not going to be talking about exactly what it does and when you need it. Um, if you're in interested in if you need it for your custom map, you can pause the screen and read it here. Or just go to the link in the video description and read it yourself. I'm only going to show how to get it working. And then if we need it in upcoming videos, I will be touching on all the Rust Edit extensions things on those specific videos in this video i just want to show you how to get it working i'm going to go to umod.org go to games click on rust and download the newest version you should get a zip file which you can open if you cannot open this go to rarlab.com click on downloads on the left and then choose the second one the winrar x64 if that for some reason doesn't work choose the 32 version then you should be able to open up this you will get a rust dedicated data folder so when we got this, we go to the folder with the Rust dedicated application inside and we're just going to drag it in here. And since there is already a folder that is called Rust dedicated underscore data, it asks you if you want to replace some of those files. Just click replace and that should install Oxide. Make sure you do this when your server isn't running. So server should be off. So I'm going to go back to the explanation from Kill You, and it says here, copy the DOL to your server dedicated data managed folder if we go here to where it says code and download zip we should once again get a zip file and this one if you open it up should contain a folder open that up what we want to do is this dol file we have to go into our server folders go into data go into managed just as it says here and then restart your server let's paste it in there dol i already have it uh, for you it will not say replace but I'm just going to replace it. We go back to our server folder or the one with Rust dedicated and we start up our server. You can see here loaded plugin, Rust edit, Rust edit. So it loaded Rust edit successfully. In the end, it's going to say or check if there's an update. It says checking for updates. And in my case, there is no update. In your case, if there is an update, it will automatically download the newest version and it will also close your server. You will then have to start it up again. It says restarting, but for my cases, it never actually restarted. It just closes the server, but it does automatically update it for you. Just restart the server and you should have the newest version of the Rust Edit extension. The console commands, it says Rust Edit shows all the available Rust console commands. So to just double check, if I type here Rust Edit, it gives me the version type and it also gives me all the comments I can run. So it is running successfully. Like I said, we are going to be touching on Rust Edit uh, extension a little bit more on the individual videos. But for now, I just wanted to show you how to install it. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, consider subscribing. It's free. If you change your mind, you can always unsubscribe. As always, thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>